Good morning. Today we are starting off with quieter weather here in the valley. Most of us, at least, uh, enjoying some quieter conditions as we're looking at I-94 here in the foreground, looking to the north and west. We've got those low-level clouds still hanging around here, and we may up end up with more clouds than sunshine today in the, the valley. We're looking at some quiet but kind of gray conditions here to start off. Here's a look at where we've been. Yesterday we warmed up so much. It was a crazy day. We had some rain. We had even a little bit of snow last night in a couple of spots and temperatures soared into the 40s, even near 50 degrees down in Sisseton. It got to 41 in Fargo, Jamestown 44, Northern Valley in the east. We're looking at mid to upper 30s there. So warm temperatures, and we know what that means when we get moisture working in with these kind of temperatures. And, and that means a mixed bag of weather, some rain, some freezing rain. And uh, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect until 8 o'clock this morning for our eastern viewing area for the uh, potential for some freezing drizzle in this area. That's also where we have some fog causing some visibility problems. Here's a look at the radar. You can see most of this system has already moved on. We're quieting down here in the valley with the snow and rain over by Duluth and beyond there. But that lingering area of cloud cover and a little bit of drizzle uh, could have some issues, some impacts, some is cause some issues on the roads in that area in eastern Minnesota, in the eastern parts of our viewing area in Minnesota. There we go. Out to the west, really quiet though after that. So we're really going to have ni a nice little break from the active weather here today. Our temperatures are pretty mild this morning. Some low 20s up north to about 30 degrees in the south. It's 27 in Fargo, 24 in Grand Forks. And in Devil's Lake, we're looking at 26. Check out these winds. They're strong, blowing in out of the north, gusting into the 30s. It's a 35 mile per hour gust in Fergus Falls, 32 in Fargo, Grand Forks, 31. Just all of us dealing with that cold northerly blast of wind. And a look at our visibility down to two miles in Faustin and in Detroit Lakes at two and a half miles. So again, that's an area where we're under that winter weather advisory. Here's a look at our hour by hour planner. We'll see some mostly cloudy skies. There'll be some breaks in there, especially as we head into the afternoon. But generally speaking, a mostly cloudy day. Temperatures into that same range basically at noon with that colder air blowing in. Little by little that wind will ease up as we progress through the day. So by the time we get into this afternoon, more into the teens than the 20s and 30s. And temperatures will be in the 20s and 30s at that point too. Some low 20s north, some 30s down to the south and west. So we lose about 10 degrees here today compared to yesterday's highs. And then around 7 o'clock you can see our numbers are going to slide back into some uh, teens and 20s for uh, your evening temperatures with some clearing skies ahead for later Later on tonight. So all in all, a quiet day, a cooler day, but still mild, if that makes sense. We're still above average uh, for most areas. It's just that uh, we'll be a little cooler than what we were yesterday. And tomorrow morning, starting off on a quiet note, we'll start off with a lot of clear skies. But tomorrow's the day we were talking about that chance for some snow. So here's how that's going to shape up for us. By 8 o'clock, you can see some clouds out west in the morning hours. Heading into noon, those spread eastward. 3 o'clock, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the teens and 20s and even some 30s down in the southwest. And then the snow starts to move in for Friday evening and into the late night hours Friday night, continuing to trek eastward through Saturday morning. So Friday, probably a big travel day because we're heading into the holiday weekend. You're going to want to pay attention to what's going on as uh, the system moves through. It will bring a little dusting of snow up to a couple of inches here. We're looking at this bright blue, light blue area. That's about an inch to two inches widespread over the valley with perhaps a couple of places in that two to three inch range, which is just enough, just perfect to coat the ground, freshen things up for a white Christmas. Coming up on Christmas Eve, quiet for travel, and then Christmas Day, there may be a few flakes later in the day uh, for us for Christmas Day. Other than that, it's looking pretty good for the holiday. I like it. Very mm -hmm. nice. Thank you, Lisa. Coming up here on the Valley today, we'll tell you what one Fargo boutique is doing to spread some holiday cheer.